Today we're cooking a venison wellington using venison loin steaks and pheasant and calvados pate, both of which are available from the Wild and Game website. Start by opening the venison steaks and patting them dry with some paper towel. Use cling film to tightly roll these into a cylindrical shape, then leave them in the fridge overnight to set into the shape. If you are making the pancakes, then this can also be done the day before. Whisk the eggs into the flour and then gradually the milk to make the batter. Cook the pancakes and then chill them. Now remove the meat from the cling film and season with salt and pepper and rub some mustard and oil onto them before transferring them to a very hot pan. Seal off the meat until it's golden. This should only take around 30 seconds on each side. Then add butter and baste the meat. Now it's time to spread the pate onto the pancake. I used half of the container for each wellington. Trim off the bottom of the pancake and then roll up the venison. Now trim off the top of the pancake to make a neat seal. Again you can cut off any excess pancake from the sides. Use cling film again to help achieve a nice cylindrical shape. Now roll out the puff pastry nice and thin and paint egg yolk onto it to help it to stick to the pancake. Roll up the venison once more, trimming any excess pastry before crimping off the ends. This lattice stage is not essential, but it creates a nice appearance if you can get hold of a lattice cutter like this. Use egg yolk again to attach the second layer of pastry. And then add one final layer of egg yolk before chilling the wellington in the fridge. Ok, let's make a simple sauce by cooking some onion for 5 minutes, then deglaze with some red wine vinegar and then add red wine and reduce by 2 thirds. I also add some dried porcini mushrooms at this stage to add some flavour. Once that's reduced, add 1 teaspoon of flour and stir in vigorously. Finally, add the beef stock and reduce to your desired consistency. Now strain the sauce and use a spoon to push the last of it through. Transfer the wellington to the oven and a preheated baking tray to ensure that you cook the pastry base. The wellington should take approximately 15 minutes to cook and then rest it for 3 minutes before cutting into portions. Garnish the meat with baby parsley and serve with seasonal vegetables. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please check out some of our other ideas on the Wild and Game website.